Welcome back fellow Undertale and Deltarune fans, I'm glad that you're here to watch today's Deltarune analysis video, on everything we know about the vessel. The first part of the Goner Maker is the narrator asking us if we are connected and the soul appearing on screen. The connection the narrator is talking about is if we have opened the game. The appearance of the soul seems to confirm that. We will then be asked to create a vessel. This vessel will then be discarded and the Goner Maker made pointless. But the Goner Maker will still affect parts of the story in some way or another. For example, the name you give yourself in the Goner Maker will be used as the name of Castle Town. The vessel will also be accounted for in the save files and a new one will be created for you if you play from Chapter 2. Save files account for how the actions you have made have affected the world. So the vessel has or will affect the game in some way. The vessel's gift defaulting to mind when starting a new save file is also something to note whereas all other answers default to the first option. This most likely means mind is the canonical option for the vessel's gift. They canonically have a mind, they can think for themselves and terminate actions despite having no soul. Kinda like Flowey. Before starting this I want to point out that determination can be looked at as to de terminate an action, so to stop the ending of that action and bring back to the beginning and then put it into a noun form. So it would be the ability to restart an action. So let's get into this. Flowey and the vessel isn't your usual comparison. However, they have similarities. For example, they are both soulless. Let's take what I said previously as fact for a second. The vessel can terminate actions despite having no soul to fuel them. The same is true for Flowey but he had the power of determination to undo his actions and their effects. What if the vessel is just like Flowey in that regard? All the way up until you start to control Chris. I mean who's more determined than the main character. But the vessel can still terminate actions. They could be in that void doing nothing. Or they could be causing chaos in hometown. Speaking of chaos. The vessel also has ties to secret bosses, believe it or not. The secret bosses each have things in common with each other. They are both discarded in some sort of way. And what happens to the vessel at the end of the Goner Maker sequence? It gets discarded. Just like the secret bosses. I like to also think that the person in the code isn't Des, but us the vessel themselves discarded, abandoned and all alone longing for freedom and to escape, wherever they are. Maybe the vessel will be a secret boss, but that's really jumping into theory territory. Plus secret bosses aren't the only thing the vessel has similarities to. There are similarities that the vessel has to Chara which I won't ignore. For example, the player, hey that's you guys as a collective, is tricked into thinking that the vessel was going to be the player character just like we are tricked into thinking Chara is in Undertale. The vessel and Chara are the only characters whose identity is shaped by the player. They are two sides of the same coin in these regards but not the same. For one Chara has an identity outside of the player the same cannot be said for the vessel. They're nobody. You know who else is a nobody. Frisk and the Vessel both have their own similarities. They're both ideal vessels nothing but blank slates. Frisk is basically the player's vessel in Undertale and nothing more. We know nothing about them and they don't even have an identity up until true pacifist and they tell us real their name and become their own separate character to the player. Unlike Chara and the Vessel, the player can't choose who Chris is. They have their own backstory and personality like Chara does. But Chris is also a decent vessel, 
very quiet, not many friends, people barely a major difference in their behavior. It's almost like Frisk but with pre-established relationships with characters, in the light world at least, and a life we know about before the events of the game like Chara. They are also the best match for the vessel that the player makes in the Goner Maker sequence. Well that's everything we know about the vessel. Comment if I've missed anything. Sorry for the less frequent videos I'm currently working on Undertale Cyan. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and check me out on Twitter.